Okay, welcome one and all to uh, this, uh, I guess, Patreon request stream. Uh, let me uh, blow up the chat here. And we're looking at a, a Gazi Kodzo video, or Kodzo, or whatever the fuck his name is. And uh, <laughs> it was over an hour long, so, well, fuck it, I guess I'll turn this into a live stream uh we're gonna wait a couple of minutes for the uh stream to go green and then i will get into this uh i don't know if we're gonna have a games and beer today i'm hoping to do one um so but uh yeah um we're going to uh you know for somebody that doesn't like capitalism gazi you seem to be living in a nice-ass house, and I don't know if I should be offended by this or not. Me and you have the exact same fucking grill. I got that big barrel at... That's a charbroil barrel uh, grill. And it is wonderful. Though, I don't know if I'd have a charcoal grill that close to my deck. Gas grill is fine. But a charcoal grill actually generates enough radiant heat where you can set your fucking deck on fire. And burning down the house is a great song to play while you're barbecuing, but it ain't a great reality. So, let's see. Mr. I Hate Capitalism, nice-ass house, decent grill, on a deck, streaming from a phone. Yeah, it seems capitalism has done wonders for you, kid. All right, we'll get uh, we'll get into this once the stream goes green, and uh, and yeah, all right, uh, should be any second now. Oh, God, I wish I'd either sneeze or get the stupid itch out of my nose. All right, let's get into this. This is Gazi Kadzo. White leftists are trash. Business hole. All right, y'all, come on in the room. Y'all who is smart enough to set your notifications on, come on in the room. We're going to talk about something real quick, y'all, real quick. Welcome to the... Real, an hour is not real quick, but whatever. Oh, my God, morning show every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m.-ish. Emphasis on the ish. It's 11.57. It's 10 a.m. in Hawaii or someplace like that. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't exactly know where you live, but even if you're at the ass crack end of California, it's it's like seven o'clock in the morning in Hawaii. Again, I, I these are the socialist revolutionaries that are gonna bring in a new world. A guy who can't even do a fucking morning show at ten o'clock in the damn morning. So any which way, you know, it's probably like eight or nine in Hawaii. But any which way, we here though, beach, and you should have your notifications on, Gazi Rebels. So you should already know. Black Power, everybody coming in the room. Dear Black Power, googly eyes person says Black Power. I'm not saying his, his image is his his name is Googly. M -C By the way, the uh, person that 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 uh, had this, um, I can't remember their goddamn YouTube name. And it's a person that's watched me for years, so I'm very sorry. I don't want to give out your real name. I can't remember your fucking YouTube name, though. I, 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 I know it, but I can't fucking remember it. I, I can't connect you with the, with the name. So uh, if you are watching or you do watch this, please give yourself a shout out. Coast of Black Power, Black Power. So, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. I really am. I can't, I can't remember your, your fucking, I don't want to give you a real name, but I can't fucking remember what name that is. Everybody so. come on in the room, hit that like button, and sit your ass down. Calm down, sit your ass down. No, we ain't got no free food. Black Power Trevor. Mmm. That's coffee good. Black Power Naya. Black Power T-Bone. Black Power Aquitia. Black Power Letitia. Oh, I love these names. Letitia Aquitia. 
Black Power Rebels, come on in the room, Gazi Rebels. We about to rebel up, beach. We about to rebel up. Welcome to the Oh My Gazi Morning Show every Monday through Friday at, not, no, at 10 a.m. ish. 10 a.m. ish. You're already an hour late. You're not even at 10 a.m. ish. You're at 11.30 ish. Set your notifications on so when I come on, no matter what time I come on, you is coming in the room. I hope y'all can hear me. The air conditioner's a little loud back there. I hope y'all can't hear it. I hope y'all are hearing me. And not all that. Nice socialist me. house, by the way. Black power, black power. What do you think his dad thinks of him? Like, the guy works his ass off, gets a nice-ass house, has, an, has a decent grill, nice deck, and then he has this for a son. So, yes, welcome to the Oh My Gazi Morning Show. This is a fun... Leticia. This is a fundraiser... Um, the Gazi Morning Show is a summer, summer time, summertime fundraiser where I go live at Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. ish. Set your notifications on so you get the notifications. The notifications, a little. Yeah, by the way, uh, set notifications to me too. Belly thing, click that belly thing. Don't bother me. Don't be coming like Gazi. It's it's 11. Gazi is 12. Gazi is 3 p.m. Bitch, put your notifications on. I'm coming on. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, the super chats. How fucking hard is it to get yourself to a show at 10 a.m.? I don't announce um, things. I don't announce things at a time. If I do announce things, I'm there at the time. It's not that hard to be on time. Why do I think you're unemployed? To be set up. Um, so donate to the Black Hammer organization through Super Chat. Black Hammer organization is an organization that me and my other comrades put together. It's a revolutionary organization, worldwide, international, all types of shit. Uh, we feed the homeless. We fight the police. We is an anti-colonial organization lose. fighting for the freedom and liberation of African and colonized people around the world. Uh, we Africa has been free from colonialization for a long time, and it's turned itself into a shithole. Organization of all African and colonized people coming together, and that's what we do. Um, if you want to know more about Black Hammer, go to blackhammer.org. If you want to support Black Hammer, you can donate at... And, uh, I seem to remember, I think it was in Baltimore, the police said, fine, fuck it, we won't show up for two days, and crime skyrocketed. Cash app, Black Hammer... Org, O R G, Black Hammer Org. Okay, is it okay to be white? Never. And um. Oh, it's okay. It's not okay to be white. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Since we're enemies, uh, I guess we'll fight to the death. Uh, but I would also like to point out that uh, white people conquered Africa in about fifteen minutes. So go to there, or you can go to um, what is it called? GoFundMe.com slash Black. Isn't your fucking boyfriend white? Hammer org, or you can go to blackhammer.org and set up your monthly donations. Oh, by the way, if you're going to do this show, Ghazi, uh, go to your parents that look to be upper middle class and ask them for a proper mic and camera. Or you can join at Black Hammer. Or get a fucking or job at Black Hammer. For a month. You can also go to Black Hammer Facebook page. Black Hammer, Black Hammer, Black Hammer. Say Black Hammer in the comments if you, if you acknowledge what I'm saying. Black Hammer, Black Hammer, Black Hammer, Black Hammer. Say Black Hammer in the comments. That's the, that's the most powerful new revolutionary organization out here, bitch. So any which way, Gazi Rebels, I hope you have a fundamental Black day. Hammer. It's about to get more fundamental. So as you already know, we wait until about five minutes for people to get in the room so we can get to the subject. Hi, Gazi. I'm so excited to catch a live. I'm excited you catching the live too, La La Ghana, love. Black Hammer. Say Black Hammer in the comments. Black Hammer, Black Hammer. Can I join you? Listen. Dre7821. The first thing I said was Black Hammer is a worldwide organization. Is Texas in the world? Then yes, you can join, Dre. God damn. God damn, god damn, god damn. It's like, I'll be like... This, this, this is the socialist revolutionary I'm supposed to fear? Boy, howdy. What would, what would this have... You know what I'd love to do? Get that motherfucker Jericho Green, and if you don't know who he is, look him up on YouTube. Get Jericho Green and Gazi Kozo in the car. I want him on a road trip from, from the Atlantic to the Pacific. I want to see if Gazi survives. 
like a worldwide organization. Guys, I'm in Texas. Bitch, Texas Mars? No, Texas Earth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Put them thumbs up. We at 11. Y'all, mama. Put them thumbs up. We at 11. Put them thumbs up. Uh. Click them thumbs up. Because you already know them white nationalists going to come and thumbs it down. So thumbs up. Thumbs up. Rebels. Uh, maybe people are thumbsing it down, not because they're white nationalists, but because you suck at this. If it's white, it's it ain't right. Running. Superfly donated $4.99 in euros, so that's like $40 in American. Uh, Finally no, caught you live, not. Black Power from London, Jamal. Ooh, Jamal, Jamal is a very masculine name. Uh, do you just want to suck his dick, or... How are you carrying that, Jamal? How are you carrying that name? Anyways, yeah. Black Power, thank you. Uh, Super Chat is set up. So, um, yeah. Those are pounds. Pounds, euros, whatever they is. It's money. How about Asian? Yes, Asians can join the Black Hammer organization too. Okay, they colonized. They colonized. Uh, Asians are doing better than whites. <laughs> They're making more money than us. Shit. If you don't think they colonized, they children making your goddamn shoes. If that's not colonialism. Thank you, Marana. Marana gave a dollar. Thank you. A dollar, everything. Another dollar, Marana. Everything and anything that can be given to the people is great. Tell you what, Ghazi, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you debate me. What do you say? Can, can somebody get this video to Ghazi? I'll give you a hundred bucks, Ghazi, if you debate me. Okay. It's five minutes in. We in this bitch. Okay. But Asians hate blacks. Blacks hate blacks. Blacks hate blacks. Yeah, no it's shit. It's not about the feel. We gonna get there. Step by step, day by day. I'm gonna I'm 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 even this step out for you niggas. Step. Because people are like, oh, but the blacks hate the Asians day. hate us. And the We're Arabs hate us. Well, well, niggas hate the Asians. Show. And niggas hate the Arabs. And niggas hate, we, we, there's a lot of hatred going on. A lot of confusion going on. A lot of feelings, misconstrued feelings going on. But that don't mean that our colonial contradiction is not the same. And it benefits us more greatly to unite on an anti-colonial revolutionary trajectory. Yeah. The colonial shit ended a long time ago, and when the colonial powers left Africa, it kind of reverted to a shithole. Um, now, the, the, the African countries that had to fight for their freedom, they're actually doing pretty decent. But the ones where the European powers just said, fine, fuck it, whatever, we're out. Uh, they reverted right back to tribal warfare. And they're doing incredibly shitty. <sighs> then to divide because this nigga don't like me, this nigga don't like me. I am a black homosexual. That oh, he finally fucking admitted it. That is fighting for revolution and is fighting and trying to unite the black community. Good luck. 6% of the population is responsible for damn near half the murders in this country, and half of the murder victims are black people. Okay, like, the, the, the number of murders committed by a black man shooting a white man, let's just say, are about some like 4%. Like, seriously, like 95, 94, or 90% of it is... Black men shooting other black men. Good luck. Good luck stopping that. Do you know what they do to black homosexuals? In the and my parents are from Trinidad and Tobago. Do you know what they do to that worked hard, got you this upper middle class home. Also, you also you could be a socialist whining little bitch. As for black homosexual males in this goddamn country, do you know what we do with them? Not a goddamn thing. Not a fucking thing. Gazi. Last I checked, you were allowed to live and love whoever the fuck you want. Even if it is a small white boy twink. I don't care. 
of black homosexuals in the hood of America. Multiple you are not in the hood. You are not in the hood. Looking at that house, looking at the foliage in the backyard, you are nowhere near the hood, bitch. Apply that by 20, and that's what they do to black homosexuals in the Caribbean, and I'm still uniting with you niggas. So don't tell me that you niggas can't unite with the Asians because the Asians followed you around a store when I'm uniting with you straight motherfuckers and you, you dragging me, burning me down, calling me Bati boy, lynching me, cutting off my penis, doing all kinds of crazy shit to black queer people, and I'm still here. Uh, are we talking about white people or other black people? Because I... I, I... That doesn't happen in America. Yeah, Ghazi, you're not in the Caribbean. Uh, again, I can tell from the trees in your backyard. And you're nowhere near the hood, boy. Here trying to unite with y'all. You black straighties, don't, don't start, don't start this morning. Don't start this morning. Don't start this morning. Why did you do this to me? What have I ever done to you, dear dear Patreon requester? What? Why? Why? I thought I thought we were buds. I thought we were cool. And I have fifty eight more minutes of this shit, or fifty five minutes more of this shit. Don't stop this morning. Boom! Bye bye. I'm a Batty boy dead. I had to twerk to that Boom, song bye, at four bye, years old. I didn't know dead. what food you been to the scene. I just dead. knew that beat was hard. And then I had to grow up and be like, damn, Boojoo. Boojoo, you wanted to kill me. Boojoo. Apparently. You wanted to put makes a, money from a this. bullet between my eyes? But y'all, like, we can't unite with the Asians because they follow us around the stove. They follow us around the stove, guys. Mm. Mm. Bitch, cry me a river. Don't come at me with that. Don't come and if the store owners were white and followed you around the store, you'd be crying relentlessly. Don't come at me with that. You don't, you don't know the life of a black homo. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. Ooh, we had ten dollars. Uh, on the uh, what's it called? On the uh, on the super chat. Let's see if we can get to twenty. Let's see if we can get to twenty dollars on super chat. Okay. Not all will unite with us, but most will. If we or No, I guarantee you the vast majority of black American males who instead of getting into gang shit or criminal activity, instead got a fucking job or went to college are not going to unite with you. Trump is at an all-time record high among African Americans. You're getting four more years of Trump. Again, I would I would almost finance it to have Jericho Green and Ghazi Kozo take a road trip together in a car across the United States, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, and I want to see if Ghazi survives. Organized well enough. We already have um, we have indigenous people in Black Hammer organization. We're gonna have Asian people in the Black Hammer organization. Asians are doing better than white people. We're going to have black Arab people in the Black Hammer organization. We're going to have the masses of colonized people in the Black Hammer organization, okay? There's a lot of people that... Nobody is colonized. ...that said to me before I started, you know, fighting for black people, that straight black people would not organize with you. They will not join under your leadership, guys. They will not. But nigga, they here. They uh, dude, no one is going to join under your leadership. You will lead them into the most disastrous campaign in military history here because i had an unending faith an unending faith like seriously can jericho green the amazing lucas or any of the other black youtubers actually just react to this motherfucker I, they probably have probably just being stupid but those are the two prominent ones that i do listen to on the regular thank you especially jericho green go check him out if you, if you like my opinions uh, go check out Jericho Green. He's pretty close to me. Trevor Miller. Okay, can we get to the... Can we get... Can we get... Can we get... Can we get... Thank you, Trevor Miller, for donating. Okay, so, basically, this morning or whatever, I was... Uh, before I went to sleep last night, I was on my Facebook, and I made a post. Thank you. $2 from Sweezy. Chico Sweezy. 
So anyways, I was on um, Facebook, just minding my own motherfucking business like I usually do. Just minding my own motherfucking business and my badass bitch minding my own motherfucking business. So I posted this post and I said, the white worker versus the white ruling class. To us... Okay, you posted this, but you just want to mind your own business. Okay. It's just a poor colonizer versus a rich colonizer fighting over who gets dictatorship over all the resources and labor you loot from us. You see, white you're workers just, got shit. You're just minding your own business, but you're posting incredibly racist shit. Look, Gazi, I don't know what the fuck you want. I don't know if you want some big, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger gay white motherfucker to come in and just violate you. If that's, like, your fantasy. Again, if it is, I tend to think you could probably set that up. But. <sighs> okay, whatever. Get confused. Because white workers think that, you know, the means of production starts in a factory. And means of production is basically when something from um, nature is turned into something that is usable for society. And right now the white ruling class owns the means of production. So when white people... There are no black farmers? Um, I, my grandparents lived in Iowa, and I watched Iowan News. Um, that's not true at all. Okay, so... Um, okay. We'll talk about communism and workers of the world unite and all those other kind of things. Oh, great! Communism and farmers! Great. Would you like to uh, talk about the first thing the communist revolution did? That means that the farmers were forced at gunpoint to take all of their grain, all of it. They could keep nothing for themselves, and they had to ship it to the city. Then the farmers got on their hands and knees and started picking out the grains that were left over from the harvester. And when they got enough grain... The, the soldiers came back in and forced the, go the farmers to give that grain up. So basically the farmers starved to death over the winters and then the Soviet government was like, well, we'll put these people in charge of the farms who had no experience. Yeah, yeah, communism feeds people. You can look it up. It happened. <laughs> like, no. Farmers were forced to turn over all their grain. They got on their hands and knees and picked out the little grain that was left over from the harvester. They were forced to turn that grain over or be shot. Yeah, communism isn't a good system. They're talking about the crackers in the factories. They're talking about the white workers. They're talking about that's, that's, that's where the means of production is for them, in the factories, right? But the means of production for African and colonized people go a little further than that. It goes to how did you get the resources to build those cars in the factories? Oh, by stealing it from Africa? Oh, well, my thought is, is how the fuck did your parents ever afford that nice ass house, the decent grill and the deck, not to mention the phone you're broadcasting from? Boy, you're sure, certainly colonized, Gazi. How did you get it to steal it from Africa? Oh, by no. annihilating our people, destroying our societies, and putting puppet governments in there to continue the looting of our resources so those resources can come to the car factory so your white worker hands can put them together. Oh. Um, what world are you living in? Okay. Oh, okay. So see, the question for communism and socialism is different for us. Because you see, the, the class question for us is centered in the colonial question. You feel me? You feel me, G? Because there would be no class contradiction unless you came into Africa and other colonized countries around the world, colonized them, colonized our nations, right? Dominated us, took and stole that loot, and then that... Um, we didn't just come in and colonize you. We fought wars. It's just, you suck at war. And we won. Um, but we left, like, 70 years ago. Um, I don't even know what planet he's on at the moment. That is what created 
the new white bourgeoisie because before you had to be a royal before you had to be born into the white bourgeoisie but now um any white person can become the white bourgeoisie right they can they can become millionaires and billionaires go to west virginia kazi and again what a disservice to your parents who immigrated to this country worked their asses off got this nice ass house with a nice deck a good grill in a nice area and you're just pissing all over that did you did you never fucking grow up or are you still this angry little teenage bitch jesus christ maybe your mom should have fucking let your daddy hit you a few times and uh and 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 run the motherfucking shits you don't you don't have to be uh related to a royal family right so that's what that's what created y'all's uh, class division, right? So when we as African and colonized people come into the equation and you're saying, well, I'm a white communist, I'm for you. Okay, are you gonna free this land and, and we gonna get it back? And then have dictatorship over our land, lives and resources? Do, do you understand that even if you are as a white communist in America, you're still a colonizer and this, you, you still want America, they, they, they think, well, if we're talking about America specifically, you're you're a colonizer too, Ghazi. And also, we didn't just take the land from the Native Americans. We fought them for 400 fucking years. They were our greatest rivals. They whooped our ass more than once. Again. Ghazi, it took 15 minutes to conquer Africa. It took 400 years to conquer fucking America. That there's such a thing as a socialist America. But you are aware that you would be just as much of a colonizer, especially since you are not the descendants of slaves. You said it in the fucking video. Your parents are from Trinidad and Tobago. They immigrated here for the American fucking dream. Worked out fucking Cracker Jack for them. And now they have a son that's such a whiny little fucking bitch. That he's got to cry and complain about for socialism. Because, I don't know, you're too weak to fucking fight or you're too weak to have a job. Jesus fucking Christ. What a fucking slap in the face to your parents. You weren't born. You, you, you don't descend from slaves. And even if you did, there's no such thing as generational pain. Seems that institutional racism didn't affect you. You seem to be sitting in an upper middle class home. Seems to me that you're the whiny offspring of some upper middle class immigrants who worked their ass off, who didn't have the good common sense to slap the shit out of you. America. They think there's such a thing as a communist America that you can you can have those kinds of revolutions and still have that colonial construct. Um, I have news for you. Uh, your revolution will fail. I've seen the DSA's convention, and you guys, you, you all we got to do is clap to trigger you. Which is raping and looting from African and colonized people because you see oh, white fuck workers. Off. You, your relationship to the world going to have to change, boo-boo. Because what, what does it look like for you to be a white worker when you don't have any stolen resources to work on no more? How did we didn't steal the resources. We won them in a war fair and squarely. Um, once again, if you had all the resources, if white people had nothing... And you had all the resources, all people of color, let's just throw them all in there, anyone who isn't white. Why the fuck were we able to, to basically come on in and take this shit? You didn't give it because you were stupid. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, we had no resources, whatever, fuck off. It look like for you what a white worker i want to ask you white worker living in america white communists living in america white communists living in canada white communists living in australia when the um and your 
are allowed there because reasons. You should be in Trinidad and Tobago if we all want to stop being colonizers. It's not for nothing. I. God, what a complete disservice to his parents. Revolution happened, and African and colonized people around the world say, hey, we don't want you here. You got to go back to Europe. What you going to do? What you going to say? Well, considering the country is a majority white, uh, nothing. Considering that white people are the, well, basically the best at war, uh, nothing. You want to take us on? But I'm curious what your thoughts are with now that apartheid in South Africa is happening in reverse where white people are being brutally oppressed. Funny enough, you don't give a shit. You gonna be all right with that? Do you understand? Oh, I'd be, I'd be fine with a fight. I guarantee you, you're not going to like how it ends, though, bitch. Why that request would come? Do you understand that we are not leading no revolution just so you can continue leading? Do you understand that? And that's the other problem. It, it, that's the other thing. If the Native Americans had the diseases to, or immunity to the diseases the Europeans carried, uh, we probably would have lost a few of those wars. The country would look very different. It was mostly a case of we have shit they've never been exposed to because Native Americans had clean water. Europeans didn't. Hmm. 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 Because as a slave, watching a rich massa fighting a poor massa, and I'm supposed You're to be united with the slave. poor massa for what? Your mother was not a slave. Masters you were fucking the Oh my god. Paid off of the civilization and language that I lost through them taking it from me. You are not from Africa! You're from Trinidad and Tobago! You said this in the video! Also, slavery ended 160 years before you were born. Off of the blood that I lost, because before this shit, like we said before in the last uh, video, is that, you know, white workers, before this shit, you were white peasants. You were the peasantry. You were living you were living off the land. You were tied to the land of Europe. You were poor. You were dirty. You was dying. You barely had clothes. And then you became white workers. You became white people with two-door garages. Not even two-door garages. You became white people on the trailer park, talking about you proud to be in America, ruthless, toothless. You became that through stealing from us. Um, the black population of the 1950s, I guess, was just as proud to be an American. Uh, you know, I don't believe Dr. King ever once, he said there are problems with America. There's problems with America. But he never advocated for a communist revolution. Through destroying our shit and standing on top of us that's why no poor white person will exchange places for a black person no poor white person would do that oh really Can, shall we go to west virginia or or uh or shall we go to any trailer park and said okay you people move into this trailer. Uh, you white people, you move into this nice ass house. Gazi, the fact that you're doing this from a deck pretty much proves to me you have no idea what in the fuck you're talking about. No poor white person would do that. Yes, Dia is blocking these motherfuckers left and right. You better get it, Dia. You better get it, Dia. You better get it, Dia. Uh oh, we almost at twenty dollars. Get it to twenty. Come on, let's get it to twenty. Can you talk about class? Okay, we got we got to get this. So, anyways, I made that post right, and then here comes this white person, and this white person left a comment saying, "Ah, yes, the old racial divide and conquer." 
So I responded to Craig Hodge is the motherfucker's name on Facebook. You can find him C-R-A-I-G space H-O-D-G-E. Craig Hodge said, oh yes, the old racial divide and conquer. I responded, it's so funny how white people understand the class question, but not the colonial question. LOL. That's just like the bourgeoisie saying, oh, the old class divide and conquer. LOL. Also, why do y'all think y'all are so significant? If we were to divide from white workers, colonized workers would still outnumber colonizers greatly. Do you white people not understand you only make up about, what, 8-7% of the world's population? Mm, I think we're a little bit higher than that, but even if that's true, uh, we seem to be the group, along with Asians, moving the world forward. If we follow the lead of black people, we'd be right back to tribal bullshit. You only make about 7-8% of the world's population. Okay, and this 7 or 8% drives the world's economy. Uh, look at Africa. It ain't doing dick. You, but you, you feel you so significant. So even if... If even if it was a divide and conquer, divide the divide the colonized workers and the colonized workers, the colonized workers. Oh, the, I guarantee you, he's never heard of the Caucasian slave trade in the Ottoman Empire. I guarantee, goddamn, to you that colonized workers. Okay, you gone, and we don't need you, bitch. Uh, yes, you do. Yes, you do, bitch. Because if we left it to you. Everything would turn into a shithole. We don't need you. So I kept saying, if we were to divide from white workers, colonized workers would still outnumber colonizers greatly. We can still have a worldwide colonized workers revolution. Could still usher in worldwide communism socialism. If you're divided, it's because of y'all's own reactionary political stances. Like the one you are just displaying. Let me ask you a question there, Chuckles. Your parents came from Trinidad and Tobago. They immigrated here legally. They worked their asses off. They got you this upper middle class house. And what would you, what would you rather have them do? Stay there? Do, once again, Ghazi, do you want to go to Africa? I wouldn't recommend it. Several countries in Africa will kill you for being gay. The second you open up your fucking mouth and act all girly like you do, you're dead. So maybe just maybe, bitch, kiss the stars and fucking stripes. But at the end of the day, who cares? We don't need you. You're a non-motherfucking factor, bitch. Like, at the end of the day, it is not... African and colonized workers who divided you. You divided yourself. You divided yourself, white worker. You divided yourself, white worker, when you were lead and people want to Um, when I'm working and a black motherfucker who's with my company comes up to help me, I'm not dividing. But sure I'll divide the work because okay, you take this, I take this, but <laughs> I'm not dividing us. I'm dividing the work so we get done quicker. <laughs> oh, my God. And no, I don't fucking profit off of his labor. He doesn't get paid any less than I do. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to pee. I'll be back. Oh, my God. And I'm only 16 minutes into this. Jesus Christ. What, what did I do to deserve this? Why?
Yeah, but, you know, Gazi Kozo, Tony, he doesn't give a shit about, you know, the part Africa had to play in the whole slave trade. But once again, I'd just like to point out, this guy is the child, at least from what I get, of immigrant parents who worked and he, he's in an upper middle class home. I guarantee you this is not his house. Uh, mm, we're not gonna get there. But people want to talk about all oh, the poor white worker, the same poor white worker that were leading lynch mobs, the same poor white workers that created the KKK, the same poor white workers that uh, we're we gonna get there. We're gonna get there. The poor white worker, the poor white worker, poor white people, Gazi. You mad at poor white people too, Gazi? Yeah, the poor white people that would have picnics racist. while lynching us and taking pictures together. Uh huh. Damn. That hasn't happened for 80 fucking years. Mm-hmm. Damn. 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 Oh, Daniel, we gonna, we gonna talk about the present, because, you know, white people be like, oh, that was the past. Let's talk about the present, because you feel like you so different. You feel like you so... Yeah, because I can't remember the last time the Klan got together and lynched anyone. I can't remember the last time the Klan got together and did fuck all of anything, except maybe order pizza. So different. First and foremost, the KKK is still active and alive today. The KKK has about 4,000 members spread across this entire nation. And might I remind you, we're a nation of about 330 million people. Who gives a flying fuck? Unless you want to also uh, deem the black, the new Black Panthers in the same vein. And all of the lynch mobs have now been turned into police departments. Oh, funny if you weren't breaking the law, the cops wouldn't have a problem with you. Today. So the only thing different from the lynch mobs of yesterday and the lynch mobs of today is a bad is a motherfucking badge uh there were cops in the 50s when the clan was at the height of its power um there were cops in the 20s there were cops it, it, it again what planet are you living on cracker so you want to come in my motherfucking face and you want to talk about oh guys that's the past what about now oh instead of whipping us you shooting us in the middle of the motherfucking street Instead of shooting us, you, you electrocuting us. Instead of shooting us, you pushing us into prisons. Instead of enslaving... You have to be proven guilty of a crime to be put into prison. Now, do I think drug laws need to change? Sure. But... All right. Because it's so, it's, so, it's so different now, right? It's so different. Let me tell you something, Cracker. Let me tell you something, because white people are so dumb. Y'all are so dumb. Y'all say some dumb ass shit. And really? We're so dumb. Is that why we built the Western fucking world? Yeah, but we're idiots. Whatever. The thing of the matter is you act like you saying some new shit that we ain't never heard. Like we ain't never heard a white person saying you're stuck in the past. Like we ain't, we ain't, we, we ain't already rebuttaled that back in the 1920s. That we have to rebuttal that. Like, y'all dumb, and the reason why you get to be dumb is because you live in a world that is easy for you. So you get to be a dumb, basic-ass white person, and you still... I would like to remind everyone, once again, his parents were immigrants. They worked their asses off. They bought this nice-ass house in a nice-ass backyard with a nice-ass deck with a decent grill. And all their son can do is bitch and complain get all the glory, all the resources, all the rewards, but you're dumb and you're basic. And white people, you know you dumb. You know you basic. You know you dumb. You know you, and you look in the mirror, you know you basic. You know that's why y'all commit so much suicide. That's why y'all love prescription medication to silence that voice that tells you you dumb and basic and don't deserve all this shit that is being given to you. That's why your kids going into schools and shooting up the schools because they don't they don't understand what no, is going because, on in this world. No, the reason I I I I fully, fully fucking 
The reason I fully, I, I fully believe we're having this rise in mass shootings is because, yes, white males are told from the time they can walk that they're pieces of colon, they're, they're pieces of shit. Don't be proud of yourself. You're just garbage. You're worthless. You're useless. You're nothing. Yeah, Gazi. But here's the thing. You black men have a hell of a lot better record at killing each other than us white motherfuckers. You know, one of the things was they linked the two mass shootings. And it was about half of the number of shootings in Chicago. Now, could some, some of the shootings in Chicago have been by white people? Yes. But I'm willing to bet a vast majority of them were done by blacks to other blacks. And no, I don't say African American because that's fucking stupid. The only people that get African American are people that actually immigrated from an African country. If you were born in America, you're black. Girl, they, they really confused. Save your kids from opioids before you talk to me, bitch. Okay, then Marcus Brown, shout out to Comrade Marcus Brown. He laid it out too, and I want to read what he said. He said, laugh my ass off. The white working class has never been united with the African masses of the capital uh, uh, for the capitalists to even have anything to divide. Reed Dubois, Fanon, Robert F. Williams, David uh, Rudiger, Pierre L. Vaughn, Dan Bahij, Jay Sakai, uh, white workers have historically been the battering ram of white of white capital. Let's ooh, come on, Marcus. White workers have historically been the battering ram of white capital. Then why was it white people that formed the first unions in this country? Don't nobody want to hear that dumb shit you are on because we have personally dealt with the reactionary white working majority and our family histories are dotted with the blood that they spilled because they didn't want to see a black person on the same assembly line or owning any property in the Jim Crow South. You better go and educate yourself with all that labor, aristocratic privilege your ancestors racked up for you by providing cover and you should have your... Oh, shit. Where was I in this? Whatever, we'll Our see. rabid white nationalist. Why? Because it meets their material. People being wiped out through genocidorship and st on stolen land and will vote in a hot second subjective, but saying they are all colonizers and therefore have a parasitic position in colonialism. This is exactly like when Radley aristocratic privilege your ancestors used. Save your kids from opioids before you talk to me, bitch. Okay, then Marcus Brown. Shout out to comrade Marcus Brown. He White workers have know how Hubert Harrison and Du Bois resigned from the SPA. Are you familiar with Victor Berger? Do you know what was the reason for white workers striking in Detroit in 1943? Do you know what Africans had to deal with within the CPUSA, uh, Capitalist Party, Communist Party USA? Uh, what about the position of the PCF? of the Algerian revolution and the role of white workers in South African apartheid system and which class Why are you bringing up another country? Did the protesters against integrating uh, Illinois come from? Get the fuck out of here, colonizer. Go read some actual history. Bloop, bloop. bloop, bloop. And I would have uh, talked back to him like, um, one, I don't care about other countries. I care about America. Or two, you're a racist piece of shit. Bloop. So, you divided yourself, and you want to talk about the past. At the end of the day, let me, let me continue. Let me continue, because we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Um, your whole fucking shtick is talking about the past. You have to talk about the past, because if you don't, you have no argument. Because you know goddamn well that there are no black oppression points in the world today there is nothing stopping you from doing whatever the fuck you want we gonna get there nothing we gonna get there 
We gonna get there. So then an indigenous person came, Altahua Zapatista Magon. You need to take Zapatista out your name. But anyways, he said, this is a bad take. So I said, expound. He said, this is something that rad libs, which I guess is radical liberals, would say, how does a poor white worker have any position in colonialism? This is exactly like when rad libs says all white people are bad. It has no basis in material understanding. I'm gonna just read what I wrote. I said the white worker was created through colonialism. Before no, that, they were living in feudalism as a white peasant. Poor no, white no, people are the ones who left no, Europe no, and went into weren't. Africa enslaving African people. Poor white people. Uh, they didn't get to the part of the whole African bullshit. And, uh, whatever. Went to the Americas, killing indigenous people to gain capital. And also, fucking, it all ended long before you were born, bitch. You complain about not wanting, not, 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 not clinging to the past? Bitch, that's your whole fucking shtick. And new, and a new way of life that was given to them through colonialism. If you don't have a material... Also, you are aware that every civilization has enslaved every other in civil civilization. Y you're aware of that. Slavery has existed in human society since... Well, right up until about 20 minutes ago, if you want to talk about the scale of human history. Your basis for how colonialism benefits poor white people, you are either blind, deaf, dumb, or all of the above. No poor white person would trade places with a colonized person. No. Uh, I guarantee you I can find some poor white people that would gladly trade places with Jay-Z. No material basis look at the judicial system look at the prison system look at the school system look at employment look at welfare look at how the police treat um overwhelmingly the most okay when 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 taking their populations in the country into account now, yes, on a straight number, white people are the beneficiaries of welfare. But when you take their population into account, black people, especially black women, overwhelmingly are in the welfare system. Overwhelmingly. And they don't have any ambition to try and better themselves. They just want to crap out another baby so that we all have to pay for it. Poor white people versus African and colonized people. They still, even being poor, have the state on their side. The state, the police. No, they don't. Oh, fucking cunt. God damn it. from us before you had to be a royal before you had to be born into well, exchange the lynch mobs have now you are on because we have out of here colonizer go read some actual history bloop bloop would say poor white people versus african and colonized people they still even being poor have the state on their side the state the police Saying they are all bad is subjective, but saying they are all colonizers and therefore have a parasitic relationship towards colonized people, no matter how rich or poor they are, is materialist as fuck. I mean, how stupid are you? Again, I want to I wanna have this guy and Jericho Green be in, a car, be in a road trip together and see if this guy survives. You are an indigenous person seeing other indigenous people being called illegal immigrants on your own land. Uh, it's not their own land. We won it fair and square in the Mexican-American War. While poor whites get, are given citizenship and st on stolen land. Bullshit! You want to immigrate here from Europe? You go through the same process. 
and will vote in a hot second to strengthen immigration laws against non-whites. If that's not a material basis, then uh, I don't know what is. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but we accept Im more immigrants from Mexico than anywhere else. Fuck off. I don't know what is. Then I said, I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Because I was still agitated. You know, I felt that comment didn't go. Oh, you were still agitated. You, you just you didn't know what to do. Yeah, 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 you little bitch ass pussy ass. Hard enough. I was still agitated because I was just like, wait, wait, nigga, wait. This is an indigenous person on his own land telling me as an African person that a white poor person has no position in colonialism has no material interest in colonialism uh maybe he's telling you something you don't want to hear also this land isn't your land anyway you are brought here by a boat actually no you fucking well maybe you were i don't know maybe it was a plane because you're a first generation american has no power in colonialism that a white poor person this is an indigenous person indigenous people who are being pushed into concentration camps they call reservation camps uh you are aware that most native americans don't live on the reservation the ones that do are literally drunks just living off of the free money um yeah and again the wars ended a long time ago an indigenous person who sees his own children being pushed into cages on the border no, they're not! Like, unless he's Mexican or something. It, 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 but then we have to... Uh, oh, my God. An indigenous person who sees his people being so wiped somebody, out genocide. So, wait. Somebody who wasn't white has a different opinion than you. And you have to lose your fucking collective shit. What a shock. Is telling me that poor white people, and I'm not even talking just poor white American people, poor white people that get to come from Western Europe, who get to come here through immigration, easy peasy, breezy, beautiful, cover girl, the no. goddamn first woman right now comes no. from a, um, comes from a, what's gonna call it, a Eastern European country. Trump's yeah. wife comes from an Eastern European country. And she's the first lady. And even she, as, a, as somebody that used to be a poor white person, is okay with brown children being pushed into cages. She even wore that jacket that said, um, I'm fine, how are you, or Um, those brown children, as you claimed, are illegal children trying to enter the country illegally being pushed by their parents. Now, we can't prosecute the children, and so we're kind of fucked. What do we do with the kids? Just release them? Is this you, LA Kings fan? Is are you the motherfucker that did this? And I gotta, I, I gotta sit here through this fucking shit. You know what do you want us to do with them? She immigrated legally. Something like that, or I don't care. Do you? She wore that as a poor white person, and now she is the first lady. Because she started sucking the right cock? I don't know. And you are telling me, as an indigenous person, who... You are not an indigenous person. Who, the mass majority of poor white people want that wall. They want that wall. So do a vast majority of blacks, so do a vast majority of Mexicans who have legally immigrated. So... Fuck off. Why can America not have a goddamn immigration policy? They want that wall. The mass majority of white people voted for that wall. Poor working class white people voted for that wall. Yeah, well, fuck it. Um... The mass majority of poor working white people want your children in cages voting for it. Fighting for it. Uh, we're not talking about indigenous people here. We're talking about people that come up through Mexico and South America illegally. Um, 
If you're born here, you're one of us. One of us. One of us. Goobo gobble. Goobo gobble. One of us. One of us. But, yeah, we'd like to stem the tide of illegal immigration. Okay, what happens if, if all of us white Americans decide to, call, decide to go and immigrate to Africa? All the African nations. You'd be fucking, you'd be fucking having a, a ten-foot aneurysm. And you here telling me that poor white people don't experience... Poor white people's children ain't being shot and murdered and left on concrete for four and a half hours. Like um, they're shot and murdered by other young black children. That's why. Mike Brown. Poor white women are not being murdered and then it's told that they committed suicide. No, poor white people. Um, okay. I don't know what case you're talking about. But, um, I don't know of any case where a woman clearly committed suicide or, or was clearly murdered and then was told that it was suicide. Yeah, that's incredibly stupid. ...are killing their own children and getting off with a slap on the wrist and two days of probation. I said, I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Have you even been around white workers or just the ones in your little leftist groups? The mass majority of them are rabid white nationalists. Why? Because it meets their material interests. Go to a trailer park and tell them this is your land and some Marx commie uh, socialist bullshit and see how fast yo indigenous ass gonna be hanging from a tree. Shit. Even no, they can uh, see the material. Christopher Columbus was not Spanish. He was actually Italian. He w the Italian king wouldn't finance his expedition, and then he went to the Spanish king, and the queen did. In it, there be that benefits, and blah, blah, blah. even they see the materialism in it. Their benefits position in colonialism, but your dumbass can't? Have you listened to the Pledge of Allegiance or I'm Proud to Be an American song? They sing proudly about their position in colonialism. I'm proud to be an American, or at least I know I'm free, and I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me, and I gladly stand up next to her defender still today, because there ain't no out and love this land god bless the usa uh nothing in that song has anything to do with race you know as much as i hate to admit it gazi you're a fucking american shaking my damn head you dumb and yes I'm calling you out your name because you are fucking crazy. This land was stolen from you, and you talking about poor white people don't have a position in colonialism. Yeah, their position... We didn't steal it. We fought them for 400 years. ...is being... is not being you. A dumbass with no land. He gonna respond. You know what? Fuck it. I don't want the left to win either. Let's all just... Uh, seclude ourselves into groups of five and see where that gets us. Okay, well, I'm glad that you have... So, first you said I had no material basis in calling all white people colonizers, and I had no material basis in criticizing poor white people. You First you said that, but now that now that we've laid it out for you, now, you, now you're just saying, well, we must unite with them because that's the only way to win. So I responded, LOL, it's sad. Your mind is so colonized, you can't see us winning without them, and that's just sad. I'm glad you exposed yourself. Now go join some white-led uh, organization if you haven't already. We created Black Hammer, a revolutionary organization led by colonized, poor, and working-class workers of the world. The future of this Who planet has, has always been in the hands of the colonized people. White no. people are more than welcome to assist by paying reparations and handing over their skills when requested, but they aren't able Fuck you, I'm not giving you my money able to lead or even join the organization. We might create a sub-org for them that are in solidarity 
uh, that we lead in the future, but right now we're focused. Oh, but we always have to be a subclass. And that's what you want, Ghazi. And that's what you want. You want to be the slave master to a bunch of white slaves. Again, if it's a sexual fetish, I guarantee you there's some white subby guy that will submit to you. It's not us. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. First, you white leftist communist people think y'all so significant. I be looking at y'all on Facebook, on the on the left book. You you white commies, you white leftists, you think because Given the chance I would have strangled you to death right there on your fucking deck. Because you, you, you read in Marx and you read in Lenin and you're doing all this kind of stuff and you buy in your little... Um... By the way, that type of ideology killed ten times what the Nazis did. So just food for thought. You buy in your hammer and sickle hat and your hammer and sickle t-shirt and your hammer and sickle flag and you hanging it and you quoting Mao Zedong. You think you bad motherfuckers, don't you? You think you bad motherfuckers, don't you? When you can't organize shit other than uh, coming to... Uh... If you ain't a bad motherfucker, if I slapped you across the face right now, Ghazi, you'd cry like a bitch. Together to drink beer, because that's all I see you doing on the Facebook, coming together to drink beer. You, you protest every you protest twice a year for Palestine and Venezuela, and you think you're doing some motherfucking work. You want to be out here criticizing Trotsky, but meanwhile... What the fuck are you doing outside of living off of your parents' fucking hard work? You worthless piece of shit! Your parents, who you sent the goddamn video, had immigrated here from Trinidad and Tobago. They worked their ass off. They get this upper middle class fucking house. And then they have a son who is, fuck it, an embarrassment to him. You ain't leading no fucking revolution. You ain't leading nothing, Gazi. If I slapped you across the fucking face, you cry like a fucking bitch. You don't have the ability to fight. Oh my god, what a fucking crybaby. Trotsky cannot organize your ass. You out here saying you love Stalin, but meanwhile Stalin would hate your armchair revolutionary ass. Armchair, no doing, no deepening of theory, ass. No, Stalin would hate the fact that you had anything. Stalin would have killed you, by the way. Just not for nothing, but whatever. You don't see your own contradictions. You don't see. And the white white people, white leftists and communists would never say, oh, the white bourgeoisie, the white ruling class, they should participate in the revolution. They should be leading. They should be helping us lead the revolution because you can see the class divide from a white worker. White workers can see the class divide that they have with white workers between white workers and the white ruling class, right? They see it. They see it. Oh, my wages. Mm, my wages are low. Mm, 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 mm. They, they're so angry, right? White workers, mm, my, my wages. Mm, 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 my wages. They, they get mad. They get mad. They, they can see the divide, right? Oh, oh, the, oh, the white ruling class. They forcing us to fight their wars. Mm, 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 mm. You, can, you can see you angry. The last time we had a draft in the country was the Vietnam War, and it led to unbelievable protests. They're not even angry about the force to fight wars. You just angry about your wages, bitch. You, you, white workers is angry about wages. 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 Remember, you. Do we not play black employees the exact same thing? We met capitalism through the fattening of your pockets. We met capitalism by the barrel of a gun. We met capitalism through chains, through whips, through our hands being cut, through our land being stolen from us. Um, I would like to point this out. Uh, the whole chains and whips thing, that was you being sold into slavery by other black people. Two, this does not affect you because you have said early on in the video, you were... 
your parents are from Trinidad and Tobago. They legally immigrated here. And they worked their ass off. And you have an upper middle class home. Fuck you. Us through our women being raped from our Also, I would like to I would like to point out of uh, you know, um there was a particular point where uh, the Ottoman Empire was particularly looking for Caucasian women to sell them into sex slavery. But you don't give a shit about that. Our children being sold from us, that's how we met capitalism. How did you meet capitalism, Cracker? When you was a pet? I met it the same way you did. You're not that much older or younger than I am. We met it the same fucking way. Everyone has an equal opportunity in this world. Peasant to when you're a worker. How did you meet it? How did you meet it? You met it from your pockets getting fatter. You met it from getting freed from the landlord. And now you get to travel wherever you want around the world. Now you get all these resources. Now you... Uh, I don't know what planet he's living on. Get a state that fights in defense of you now. Now, that's how you met it. But how did we meet capitalism as African and colonized people? We have more gripes with capitalism than you. Uh, no, you don't, bitch. It's beyond just our wages because y'all out here talking about 15. We want 15 now, we want 15 now, and then you bamboozle black people to thinking, oh, 15 and now, 15 now. We, we got more issues than wages. Our issue. I would like to point out that right now, Libya has an open slave market. Right now, today. And they ain't selling white motherfuckers. Why don't you worry about that, bitch? Is way more than wages. And I don't give a I don't give a flying fuck. None of you crackers can tell me you oppressed. None of you. None of you. You may be stressed, but you ain't oppressed. You're not oppressed either, bitch. Just by looking at your background, I can tell you're not oppressed. <laughs> 20 bucks says this guy who's calling for revolution has ever been slapped in the face in his life. I don't give a fuck if you're a white transsexual, white uh, gay man, white what, white disabilities, white person with two legs and a peg arm. I don't give a fuck what kind of white person you are. You are not oppressed. If you are oppressed, tell me what land was stolen from you. Tell me what language has been ripped from you. You mean by the same African people that sold your ancestors into slavery? Also, I would like to point out, once again, he... He's the, he's he's first generation. Tell me what history has been burned first away from generation. you. First generation. Tell me. Okay, there's the Irish, the French, the Norse, uh, the 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 Celts, the the uh, the Franks. The there's a lot of it. Fuck off. Tell me what rich land you come from that none of those resources goes to you and your children and your people. Uh, South Africa. Tell me. Tell me. You just discomforted. You ain't oppressed. You just stressed. You ain't oppressed. You're not oppressed either, bitch. Oppressed? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oppression is colonialism. Oppression is colonialism. No, it's not. It's having a dictatorial state suppressing your freedom, which you don't fall under, faggot. All right, I'm going to go take a pee and get another beer. I'll be back. And, oh, God, I'm only halfway through this video. Why? What did I do to this person? Why? I mean, I know your name. I can't remember your fucking YouTube name, but Jesus Christ. What did I do to you? Why? Why? Why do you want to see me suffer?
God. All right, let's get through this. And that's why I'm not here for that intersectionality bullshit because intersectionality is just a cutesy bootsy way that white people get to be oppressed too. That white people get to smudge in their way too. But yeah, I'm white, but I'm a trans woman. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Okay, if you are the majority of the population, then why have you not lifted yourself out of poverty and shitholeness? It ain't all white people, bitch. Once again, I'd like to point out, nice ass house. And y'all need to humble yourselves. You need to humble yourselves. You need to humble yourselves. No. I prefer kick ass. Look, Gazi, tell you what, you wanna fight? You, you want to fight? You're going to lose. Y'all y'all think y'all so significant. That's what that's, I can't stand about white leftists. Y'all think y'all so significant. What makes you so significant? They're already bitch boys. What you're talking about is anyone who is white who is not on the fucking left. What makes you so significant? What makes you so necessary? I'm asking that for real, for real. Uh, because we're apparently necessary to build the fucking Western world? I don't know. Real. For real, for real. Because for a white person, a white commie person, a white leftist person to come to me, you ain't no different to me than a white uh, Republican, a white Democrat, a white... Y'all, it's reconnecting, y'all. Hold on, we reconnecting. We reconnecting, y'all. We reconnecting. We reconnecting. We reconnecting. Oh, Lord. Can y'all hear me? Don't care. Yeah, I mean, look at his house. And his parents are immigrants. It's saying reconnecting. This is I don't the know American what's going dream. On, but we gonna keep talking. We and gonna he wants to piss all over it. Black people, even without organization, have fought against the police. White gonna blame for the fall of the U.S. Oppression is colonialism. That's right, with expectancy. That's right. So that's what I just had. If you don't commit crimes, the cops won't fucking bother you. To say what I have to get off my chest. There's a lot more that I want to say and talk about. I think this is gonna be a series about how the white left ain't shit. You know what I mean? We gonna, we gonna have a series on it. I'm hungry. Hurry up. I wanna smoke some chicken. Daniel Maps is the white leftists always think they can talk over us. Carl Robbins said, in more than 23 states, the LGBTs can get married on Sunday, unemployed by my... Uh, Daniel says, what is with your teeth? Did your parents not have a dental plan? How can one who has been sheltered by white power hate white power or undo it without destroying themselves? Exactly. You got to destroy yourself. You got to destroy your relationship that you have with the world. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be your fucking little cuck boy. I'm not going to be your little cuck white slave boy. Um... Look, your bedroom fantasies are one thing. When you try to bring them into the real world, it's another. Because first and foremost, we, somebody just said, is it bad to be white? What does being white mean? That your white, pale skin complexion. Also, I'm somebody that tends to get pride in being white because, you know, we built the Western world. I mean as much pride as one can take in that because it's the same thing as I think fucking gay pride is stupid. You know, it's nothing to really hold a fucking parade for. Oh, you were born gay. whoop the shit. You don't need a parade. What does being white being a colonizer? 
if it don't mean going all across the world and oppressing people, looting from people, stealing from people. And uh, I have not gone all across the world oppressing and looting and stealing from people. However, if you do think that's the case, I will happily loot and steal from you. Raping from people. I won't rape you, though. You gotta... You're, you're not my type. Unwhite yourself. And the way you unwhite yourself is to pay reparations. The way you unwhite yourself is give you free money. Is to be is to be the opposite of a parasite. If you if your existence as a white colonizer is sucking up the loot of colonized people, do you think the way to overturn that contradiction is to take that stolen loot and give it back to the people you stole it from? But not just to the people you stole it from, but give it to an organization. 80 years ago, or thereabouts, a lot of European powers left Africa and left Africa to govern itself. Um, and some of these countries that had to fight for their freedom are far more along with industrialization and getting along with the rest of the world. However, the ones that didn't reverted right back to tribal warfare. So, there you go, buddy. ...that is fighting to overturn all of this shit and get free and fight through anti-colonialism, fight through socialism, fight through... We haven't had colonialism for 80 fucking years, yet Africans are just fine killing other fucking Africans. How are you gonna get deal with that? ...internationalism, fight through the hands of the poor and working class African and colonized people. That is how you undo that. And then what well, I wanna do more guys, I wanna do more, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. Well, guess what? We will come to that point. But right now. As far as I know, in the be beginning of the video, his, he said his parents immigrated to America from Trinidad and Tobago. I don't know where the fuck that is. I thought that was an island, but whatever. He is. Uh, they immigrated here. They built a life. They they worked hard enough to get this nice ass house in this nice ass area, so their fucking worthless, useless, piece of shit son can cry about everything that made them great. Black Ham is not even a year old because I get white people like I want to join. I want to join. I'm, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm like you need just you to go and donate. Go and donate. Go and donate. And I say it just like that. Well, donate and I'll talk to you later. And you know, a lot of white people, eight times out of ten, I don't hear from them. They don't donate. They get disgruntled. They go away. Um, because you people can't fight a war. Remember. It took us 13 minutes to conquer Africa. Because if you can't humble yourself. And how many black people would be on my side, too? How many? Seriously, how many fucking black people would be on my side, too? To understand that maybe after hundreds of years of your fuck shit, we don't want to organize with you. After hundreds of years of your fuck shit, I'm giving you the I'm still giving you the ability to participate. Cause I could say I don't even want your money, bitch. I don't even want oh, your money. Oh, you'll take our money. Money, bitch. I could say I don't even want or need your money. I could say that, but I'm like, I'm gonna say go pay donations, and I, I want to see pay reparations. I want to see what you. I want to see how good your allegiance is, or is you that, or is you. That Tell you what, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you beat me in a boxing match. That stuck up in your. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Go pay reparations. Go pay reparations. You pay your cell phone bill, right? You pay your mortgage, right? You pay your car note, right? You don't pay a mortgage. You, you given you given your money back to capitalism institutions, right? Okay, well this is a revolutionary, African colonized organization, and we're saying. For right now, until I'll give you a thousand bucks. You meet me in a boxing match, you beat me, you get a thousand dollars. What about that? How's that? So we figure out what else you can do. Pay reparations. 
And and a, and a lot of the times, it's not even when people be like, oh, you don't let white people join your organizations because you don't like white people. It has nothing to do with the way I feel about white people because it's not even like I don't I don't wake up every day making videos because I don't like white people. I don't. No, he likes white people because he likes sucking white man's cock. I don't. I didn't sacrifice everything in my life because I don't like white people. I don't. Uh, oh boy, it looks like you certainly sacrificed. Boy, it, it looks like you've certainly sacrificed. Uh, organize every day because I don't like white people. I didn't create an organization that I have to bust my ass every day to sustain because I don't like white people. I do all of those things because I love freedom. Because I love my people. The hell you do. You want white people to be second class citizens, yet you claim to embrace freedom. Because I love oppressed, colonized people. Because I want a future. Because I see this planet is ending. And its days are numbers under, under capitalism, under colonialism, under imperialism, under white power. The days of this planet are numbered. And as an African, as someone that has a connection with this earth, I have a responsibility. You don't have a fucking connection with the earth. You know, when I, when I, when I did my AOC video... I had a Native American commenter say, Jesus Christ, I'm Cherokee, and I know exactly jack and shit, and my family knows exactly jack and shit about tilling the land. No, you do not have a connection to the dirt. You don't. You're to free Mother Earth, to save Mother Earth from this shit. That's why I do so much, because I see our children everywhere our children are. They are starving. They are diseased. They have. Uh, you could have took the seeds of a white man, Norman Borlaug, and uh, saved yourself from this problem, but you didn't. The flies on their faces. That's why I wake up and do what I do. So the reason that I have an organization of African and colonized people and say no to white to people. Africa, then? It's not because I don't like white people. It's not because I don't hate white people. Because to be honest... No, you do. Y'all are not significant enough for me to have that emotional reaction to anymore. I know, what it, I know what it is. I know what it is. Bullshit. A car is a car. A boat is a boat. A plane is a plane. I don't treat a car like a car because I hate a car. I don't treat a plane like a plane because I hate the plane. I don't treat a boat like a a boat because I hate a boat. I treat it like I treat it because that is its function. The reason why we don't allow white people in the organization is because we understand the mental enslavement of black and colonized people that we don't believe in ourselves. The mass majority of African and colonized people do not believe in ourselves because if we believed in ourselves, we'd be free. Bullshit! We don't believe in ourselves. Well then, then complain to your socialist Communist Democratic Programs. Did I say a boat? Also, maybe it has something to do with Black Mama, who has five kids with five different men. Um, maybe that, that, that has something to do with it, but whatever. You can fly. My bad. <laughs> we believe in us. We don't believe in ourselves. So we have to create images, organizations, and leaders of ourselves to inspire our people. Our people need to see us able to revolution. That's why I want to see Jericho Green at Gazi Kodzo take a trip across Amer America. Revolutionize, to organize, to mobilize, to resist, and not have some white person leading it, or even part of it. Our people need to see that. You already had it. The 60s. White people. Somebody said all humanity is trash. No, not all humanity is trash. Well, just, just the colonizers are trash. Y'all created the situation. Y'all created the colonizers created the situation. You created the situation, baby girl. And just to spread it, oh, it's everybody. You created what everybody's relationship is and detached us from the earth. You created everybody's relationship and pulled us into capitalism, forcing us to be products of capitalism, forcing us to sustain capitalism, or we will starve for it, die for it, be assassinated for it, be pushed into prisons for it. You created this situation. 
Colonizers are trash. Colonizers are trash. Colonized people are victims of your trash. We're all human. We're all you're not human anymore. And I'm not saying you're not human because of some spiritual thing or some scientific thing, like oh, white people's chromosomes. Blah, blah, blah. It's not that. Your relationship to humanity. You detached yourself from humanity. Okay, since I'm no longer human, I can exterminate you people, and I don't have to feel bad about it. Good. I can, I can, I can deal with you like the rats you are. Did you see how fucked up that 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 statement is? Once again, Mister Privileged Asshole in an upper middle class home, nice backyard, good grill. Uh, did 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 do you see? God, why did your dad fucking just slap you around a little bit? You did that. You created a system where you live at the expense of everyone else. You decided to become a parasite. You live in a system where you are the parasite of humanity. So you cannot be human anymore. You made yourself not human. Your relationship to the world, to the people of this world, to the animals of this world, to the nature of this world. You separated yourself from this world for the ability to have dictatorship over resources, for greed. For greed. Um, you did that. Ain't nobody did that. By the way, you are aware that most of the animal cruelty laws and animal experimentation laws and zoo regulations and, and shit like that, most of the animal regulations that we have Come out of one place. It's called 1940s Germany. So there's that. That to you, boo. You did that. You did that. You did that. You the one out here. Because before... Be Seriously, it's, it's, it's true. You can look it up. Before y'all did what y'all did, before y'all did what y'all needed, to, before y'all came around the world, colonized the world, we didn't have this pollution. Y'all had the pollution in Europe because you had the black smog, all that kind of shit. But we didn't have this pollution. B the, what? We didn't have... Smog was created by the Industrial Revolution long after the colonization of fucking Africa. Fuck you. have uh, smog in the air. We didn't have space trash. There's trash in space, y'all. We didn't have the ocean that got um, nuclear waste in it and trash bags and cans and shit and, and the seagulls and the fish are dying and shit. They can't even live in the ocean and shit. We didn't have that before you. We was, we was living in unison with the earth before you. No, you weren't. You were living in constant warfare with whatever tribe was next to you. Fuck you. We didn't have the by the way, the rest of your shit is garbage. These issues before you, before you came. This is your shit. So when people say, oh, oh, um, human. So are you saying white people are masters of the earth? Like, like what? Like, what? Wait, okay. Humanity is doing this wrong. Humanity. No, 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 no. Colonialism, capitalism, imperialism, white power is doing this and we have to detach from it and get back to what we was doing before Gazi, if you beat me in a world. boxing match i'll give you a thousand dollars your coffee's cold Exactly. Dave E. said, but Ghazi, those are African resources. As soon as we control our land in full, in full, there's no sharing with these white demons. No sharing. No sharing. Well, we'll take it.
Okay, a adornment said, I guess you said, I guess that's supposed to be Ghazi. What are you asking? There was feudal empire, there was feudal exploitation by the landlords and increasingly capitalist exploitation. Okay, capitalism came through colonialism. So there was no capitalism no, before colonialism. There was feudalism. No, it didn't. No, that's feudalism horseshit. was in Europe. Feudalism was in Europe. No, you had the that peasantry. Was, no, no, had the no. Knights. It was in. You had the landlords. It landlord. was in Africa too. Fuck you. You had that feudalism. You were the ones starving. You were the no. ones dirty. You were the no. ones that needed to be liberated from that. No. And came. Fine, nor And came to Africa. Came to colonized nations around the world that are now colonized, indigenous nations around the world, and freed yourself from that feudalism and created capitalism. What we are dealing with now is white. Do you honestly think every brown person was just living in this? I'd like to give the world a Coke and sing in harmony. Who gives a fuck? I want your shit now. Go die in a ravine. African tribes warred with African tribes all the uh, all the fucking time. Native American tribes warred with other Native American tribes all the fucking time. Uh China and Japan wrote epic tomes of their wars. Power. Well, we see, white people always want to talk about, oh, forget the past, forget the past, uh, the future, the, what, what is now, what is now, to, to escape their shit, right? But then white people love to go in the past to escape their shit. Ain't that crazy? Because we'll be like, oh, because of... Um, you have to live in the past because if you dared live one minute in the present, you know it ain't so bad for black people. Slavery and colonizing Africa and all these places, this is why we are at where we're at. They'll tell you to forget about slavery, but then they'll say, but you know, back in, back in uh, pre-colonial Africa, there was slavery. There was, there was, there was, there was, there was. First and foremost... <laughs> What you call slavery that happened in Africa and other indigenous places around the world was nothing compared to the chattel slavery of white power. Nothing compared to it. Nothing compared to it. But let's say it was. And? Um, no, it was not, nothing compared to African slavery. And that includes Africans enslaving damn near every race on the planet, including white people. Because this is what we're dealing with now. I'm dealing with in 2019. So what you want me to do? You want me to get into a spaceship, uh, I mean a time warp, and go back and, and, uh, and, do, and do what? Because I'm here. And I see the oppression that is now. And the oppression that is now is the white ruling class. Uh, the, the oppression, you, you, you brought up a time machine that's very comical because that's your whole argument. That is your whole fucking argument. There is no oppression right now. There is nothing preventing you from doing anything right now. Nothing. The white workers is the colonizers against the colonized. And it's time for us as colonized poor working class people to unite and create a revolution. I guarantee you you're not working. To overthrow capitalism and imperialism, something you can never do. Something you can never do. You tried, you tried, and you tried, and you tried again. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Why is Cuba a shithole? Why is Venezuela a shithole? I don't think a lot of white people helped in that revolution. Why was Che Guevara a dictatorial failed warlord? Because the class question is centered in the colonial question. You can't do it, boo. You can't do it.
the wait, what's Ka are you saying Ghazi? What is K H A Z? I don't know what that means. Some discussion always. Gotta love for you in the word. Catch you Kilala. Capitalism came to colonialism. Period. No, it didn't. Oh, you're responding to cause. Okay. Exactly. SP said nope. SP said, right. I went to Ghana and seen how capitalism and colonialism is destroying the natural habitat. I wish I could send hearts. Can you speak of the Green New Deal next time? Just another progressive liberal bullshit. Yeah, I spoke about it. Some progressive liberal colonizer bullshit. Who is cause? I don't see a cause. Any which way. Why do I, I think said what I said. If I, if it, if it came up to it, you just banned me. I have no thoughts on anarchists. Well, communism Who is cause? Re leads to anarchy falls. It's okay, comrade. It's okay. I'm sorry, Bandit Man. You know, I, I snapped on you a little bit. Anyways, y'all got any more? Um, communism usually does just lead to an anarchy state after the government falls. Questions because um, this is just part one. I'm gonna make a, a longer series about the uselessness of white of the white left, and also I hate the whole thing. Like I'm not a leftist. I'm not a leftist. I'm not a leftist. I'm an African revolutionary. I'm not on the. I'm not. I feel like a, a leftist is on the leftist side of imperialism. Leftist side of colonialism. There's a, there's a right side of imperialism and colonialism, and then there's a left side of imperialism and colonialism. You see, y'all on this. Y'all on this. Y'all on these too. You see. Uh, we, 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 we here, we, we underneath that levy y'all having to overthrow that. We, we trying to overthrow that. You see, overthrow. Yet you sit on the deck of your parents' house as a first generation American and you want to overthrow everything we stand for. Ghazi, of all the people on YouTube, you're the only motherfucker I want to fight. Like seriously, you beat me, I'll give you, I'll give you a thousand dollars. And I don't want a boxing match. No, I want a goddamn MMA fight. That we're not trying to make it more left or more right, more liberal, more conservative, more more socialism under colonialism. We, 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 we overthrowing it. I'm anti-colonial. I'm at the root. I'm at the root. I'm at the base. That's what, that's where I'm at. I'm at the root. I'm at the base. I'm at the bottom, bitch. I'm on the mud. I'm in the mud. Okay? Well, the Indians who were here did nothing with the land for 5,000 years. You can be pissed off with me if you like, but it's true. You did fuck all with the land. We fought them for 500 years. And uh, even though uh, diseases we had decimated them, they, uh, yeah, they were still our greatest rivals. So, um, yeah, why don't you shut up? But they lost, and when they bent the knee, uh, they rose up, and they were proud to be Americans. They were proud fucking Americans. And we're going to overturn that whole shit. An independent? A colonizer? White nationalism? What, 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 what does independent uh, supposed to mean? Independent of what? Uh, Big black mood, period. Isn't it f white leftists are just upper middle class white people who pretend to be working class because they failed to ascend to their parents' socioeconomic status. Bloop, oop, oop, Aubrey. Aubrey, why are you reading so hard? Aubrey, sit down, Aubrey. Damn, Aubrey. Got any good works and resources to read to understand white colonialism better? Ugh, so much, so much. We're gonna talk, well, there's a book club. There's a Black Hammer book club. Right now we're reading Die, Nigga, Die. 
Um, you can get it at uh, Black Hammer on Facebook. We do have a book club and we read every Sunday at 11 and we talk about um, our reading. So join the Black Hammer book club. What a slab in the face to his parents. Have you seen uh, they enacted the travel ban on Cuba? Yes. Come on, Trump. Draw them lines. Draw them lines, Trump. Mm-hmm. White people keep telling us to stop talking about colonialism and slavery. They do, J. Carlos. They do as if, okay, and I hate when people are like, oh, colonialism is of the past. Co colonialism is still here and alive and well. Like, colonialism is still here, alive and well. Where, where did colonialism go? When did it end? What day did colonialism end? The day your parents bought the house you currently live in and raised you in it. Hmm? Hmm? Because colonialism is the dictatorship of an indigenous land by an alien nation. Hmm. When did America and other white nations of the world stop assassinating any leaders of uh, colonized uh, nations that resisted against America and the white power or didn't agree with American white power? We what happened never, to Gaddafi wasn't colonialism? We, we never fucking colonized Africa. Guam holds a goddamn election every fucking year to become a state. Like, what are you talking about? Hmm. Hmm. What they're trying to do to Venezuela isn't colonialism. Hmm. Hmm. Having these. Um, Venezuela has its own problems and it isn't due to white power. Puppet leaders stealing and looting all the resources of African and colonized nations around the world. That's not colonialism. Hmm. Hmm. These white capitalist organizations, I mean, um, businesses like Dole Bananas, um, pushing millions of dollars to wipe out of the indigenous people of the Philippines so they can grow their bananas in the plantations and steal those people's land and push them off their own land. That's not colonialism. Hmm. Hmm. What they're doing in South America, those uh, those paper companies taking those forests, chopping them trees, and pushing those people off their land. That's not colonialism? Hmm? Where did colonialism go? Because it, it seemed like it's still here. Seems like it's done by a lot of fucking goddamn brown people, but that's just me. With ten minutes left. It's alive and well. It's alive and well. Yes, 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 yes. Everything, everything. I be telling y'all everything. If you look up where the shit came, this is what this is what homework I want y'all to do. Pick anything in your house, in your apartment, in your car, wherever you are at. Just pick, just touch the first thing, your clothes, your, your ring, your cup, your phone, your computer, touch whatever. Touch whatever, touch a cup. And then do the research of where that company gets the resources of that cup. How does that work? What, what, how did, where did this cup come from? And then when you find out where the cup, where the phone, where the computer, where the car, where the tire, where it came from, where that resource came from, then do research on that land where it came from. If it came from the Philippines, if your banana came from the Philippines, look and see what's going on in the Philippines. How the people live in, look at the poverty rate. Look, look at it. Look at the resistance that's going on in there. Look at it. If you look at your shirt and it takes you back to China or it takes you to India in the sweatshops, look at it. Look at it. That's not colonialism. Look at it. Except most of the people in India who work in the sweatshops are happy to have those jobs because it's guaranteed income. It's not for nothing, Gazi. Look at it. See, see how much things those nations produce and their people, the masters of their people still live in poor. Look at it. Look at it. There are no masters. Everyone is free to leave whenever they want. They don't. The, the coffee bean. Look at the coffee bean in Somalia. 
coffee being in Somalia. Look at Somalia. Coffee does not grow in Somalia because they don't have mountains. I could be dead fucking wrong, but coffee doesn't grow in Somalia. Look at Somalia. Proxy wars all up and down Somalia. CIA, FBI produced genocides all up and down Somalia. No, it's between two tribes of black people, Ghazi. You are aware that black people are fully capable of killing black people. Assassinations all up and down Somalia. Look at the coffee bean. Go to Colombia. Look at the coffee bean. Everything. Everything. They talk about blood diamonds. Ain't nothing produced in capitalism ain't blood, be. It all blood. In modern life. That is what the boy. going on y'all this connection is acting up this morning anyways we back we back i'm out of here it's been long it wasn't supposed to be this long it's supposed to be this long we're gonna talk about back in celebrities and shit like that we're gonna continue it's gonna be a series of why the white left ain't shit because i want to burn these i want to burn them i want to burn them i want to burn them and just to this is a disclaimer I don't think all white people are bad. Being bad is subjective. Do I think that a white person can join the lines of the revolution? Do I think that the white person can get on the right side of the question? Do I think that a white person can align themselves in solidarity with the masses of colonized... You're planning a revolution, and you're the front line. Okay. Oppressed people of the world. Yes. The majority of them? No. I don't think that... And remember, white people conquered the world in about 23 minutes. You'll have people like Resonator Zen on your side, but not much else. That's going to be possible. But a good sector of them, a good... I'll be pushing if I say 30%. I'll be pushing. If I had to guess... Uh, you won't get three. To me. I'd say four to six percent of them. I'd say four to six percent. I'd say four to six percent. Because something happens you. with your brain when you become the battering ram of capitalism. When you are out here murdering, looting, genociding people, you 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 disconnect like your yourself you from the people in. that you are destroying. You 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 you're saying that these are not people. These are animals. These are brutes. These are savages. These are uncivilized people. Things calling me. All the things that I'm doing to get what I need to get. It's, I'm, do, I'm doing the righteous thing. Something happens. Hundreds of years, something happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you, you, you you're seeing that through these white communists, through these white leftists. All you are seeing is a mind that was created through hundreds of years of colonialism, of genocide. When, when, they don't, when they're not getting what you're trying to tell them, when... I'm back. Your father keeps calling me. That's what we're seeing. That's what we're seeing. So anyways, I don't hate all white people. I don't... Well, it depends on the day if I hate all white people, to be honest. I mean, if I'm watching a show or a TV and I see that a white vigilante killed another 12-year-old... Uh, all right, this is where I'm gonna. A, 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 I, I've gone enough. All right, I've done my. Uh, I've done my wealth. I, I've done my welfare. I did my Patreon video to the Patreon who who said it to me. I forget who in the fuck you are. I know who you are, but I can't remember who the fuck you are. Fuck you for making me watch this.